All right, let me explain the G pentatonic scale and also the examples that go along with that. So pentatonic scales are used for blues, right? So this uh, we call G minor pentatonic starts on the third string open, so it's gonna be zero. Sorry, open. Okay. Then we're gonna put our third finger on the third fret. Uh, third string. So again, from zero to three. Okay. Now we go to the next string, second string, first fret, second fret, third fret. Now we go to the first string, first fret, third fret. So let's try that again from the top. So it's going to be a third string, zero fret. So open, then third fret, all right, then second string, first fret, second fret, third fret, and then uh, first string, first fret, third fret. So this is how it sounds going ascending from low to high uh, from, from the top. Here you go. Go from uh, from second string, one, two, three. Uh, I like to usually keep my finger down because this is a kind of good habit to have because uh, a lot of wrists and stuff um, have this kind of thing going on. Instead of you know always picking up every finger, that's not very uh, you know accurate and it's not uh, conserving uh, your energy. So leave your fingers down. Alright, so now let's go descending from from the first string onto uh, the third string. Okay, so we're going to start with the third finger, third fret, alright, then one, then down to second uh, string, three, two, one, then down to the third string, third fret, three, zero. Okay. Now, I'm gonna, instead of just saying the fret numbers, I'm also gonna uh, say what the notes that you're playing, all right? And it's good exercise to not only uh, just memorize where the frets are, but know where the notes are. So in the future, if you wanna know, you know where a certain note is, then you know where it is because you've already memorized it, okay? So open string is gonna be zero, is G, all right? Then three is gonna be B flat, then first fret, uh, second string is C, C sharp, D, then first string, first fret, F, G. Then going down is G, F, D, C sharp, C, B flat, G. So let's start again. G, B flat, C. Good thing to try to memorize these scales. All right. So let's try an example using uh, the scale. So all these notes are going to fit in the scale. And, and another thing to note is that your finger or your left hand position is going to be in what we call the first position. So that's where your uh, first finger, all right, is on the first fret. And that determines where your other three fingers are going to be, all right? So your first is first fret, second finger is second fret, third, third fret, and fourth finger, fourth fret. We don't have to worry about our pinky, uh, but uh, anyways, that's the first uh, position. So the, the first thing uh, we do is do the little uh, riff, uh, smoke on the water. You ever know that one, right? So you can use the G pen and the scale to play the melody, right? So it's going to be open G, so uh, zero, right? Zero, and then three, all right? And then first 
string one. So it's gonna be da da da. Okay. Then again, um, it's gonna be zero, three. Now second string, second fret, two one. So the second time is da zero three. Second string two one. All right. And then it's back to zero three. Then one on the second string. Three, zero. So let me play it really slowly. Okay, how it goes. It goes like this. Zero, three, one. Zero, Go even slower than usual. Go. Well, 